The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Okay, we got Dave Moody from the band Hairball with us. Dave, thanks for joining us. It's great to have you. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Coming back to Quincy again on the 25th. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, cannot wait to uh, come back and preach the gospel of rock and roll to the good people of Quincy. For those that don't know, Hairball, I kind of call you guys a cover band on steroids. Is that a pretty good uh, description of what you guys do? It's as good as any. Uh, you got to kind of see it to believe it. Uh, you know, we can explain uh, a million ways from Sunday what it is that we do, but until you get in front of it and you see it, uh, it's it's hard to explain. So how long have you guys been doing this? And is it the original three singers that are still together? Uh, no, it's not the original three. Uh, it's been going for 23 years. This is wow. I'm going into my third year. Um, and um, it, it, it's, it's had a rotating group of folks that have been in and out of the band. But, um, you know, um, Happy's the lone original member that is mm -hmm. that is left from the uh, from the original outfit. Uh, but the guys in the band uh, now are just uh, just as enthused as 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 the people who founded it, and uh, we're here to carry on their legacy and and do uh, do everything that they ask us uh, ask of us. For those that don't know, you uh, you guys reenact a lot of the acts that are around or have been around from the '70s and '80s. You portray a number of lead singers, and your partners portray other lead singers. And how does someone fall into this? <laughs> uh, instead of like having your own band or write your own music, things like that. I, I joke all the time, uh, you know, uh, you know, nobody will pay to see me be me, but a lot of people pay me to be somebody else. <laughs> right. And you had no formal music training, right? No, no. I learned everything by myself. So, uh, which is, which is good. And, and uh, because ignorance is bliss, I guess, you know, so, <laughs> so how many yeah, I learned every, I learned everything by myself. Okay, so do you guys ever switch off, like take turns being somebody else and say, like roll the dice and say, hey, I'm going to be David Lee Roth tonight or something like that? Or are you just for fun mix it up a little bit? No, uh, basically <laughs> what happens is everybody's got their own uh, specialties that they do. Right. Like, uh, you know, I do all the raspy voice singers, which you can hear it in my voice. It's just naturally raspy. Um, but I do Gene Simmons and... Brian Johnson and uh, Tom Keeper and Kevin DeBro and Alice Cooper and you know characters of that D Snyder and things of that nature is the larger than life big characters. Uh, those are the ones that I'll be doing. Um, and then you know the sing sing singer stuff is is uh, Chris Box and he's just brilliant. He's just an incredible singer, incredible frontman. Uh, and Joe Dandy is the court jester. So that's where you'll get your David Lee Roth. That's where you'll get your Axl Rose and, you know, your, um, you know, Vince Neils and things of that nature. So uh, we all have our specialty items, as it were. You view yourself as an actor or as a musician? Um, I'm an entertainer, you know. You're dodging so, my question, Dave. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm an entertainer. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever you need me to be in the moment. Okay. So um, I I can handle my own and 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 uh, just about any situation. So uh, that's a good thing to be to be well rounded, and that's right. what we all strive to be. And um, to limit yourself to be in one particular thing is not going to serve you well in this outfit. You have to be mm -hmm. many many things, and uh, that is uh, that's the so that's the important thing is to be well rounded and developed, so you can do these characters and you can do these. Uh, and do these moments and uh, big moments and shows. So you've been at it 23 years or the group has been at it for 23 years and has been, has the uh, scenario been pretty much the same through all through 20, all 23 years. It's been hairball and you guys have been reenacting a variety of different singers. Well, from my understanding, uh, when the band first started, it was a spoof. It was kind of like taken off as like, um, you know, they were taking the piss out of these characters and they were, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of making fun and, and, and kind of, you know, wink, wink, mm -hmm. nudge, nudge kind of thing. But as it developed, um, they, they said, you know, wait a minute, we should maybe treat this with a little bit more seriousness. And the costumes got better. The wigs got better. The, the, uh, the, the production got better, the bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now we got five video walls. We got more pyro than a seventies kiss concert. More there to burn your eyes out of your head, make your eardrums mm -hmm. bleed and leave you sticky, broken and confused. That's our job, you know, looking right. up on Wikipedia. <laughs> so have you, um, the further you've gotten away from the seventies and eighties, have you found that the crowds are getting bigger? They're getting smaller. 
Well, uh, over the last several shows, I think eight of the last 10 have been sellouts. So crazy. You can't argue with that. Uh, just this past weekend in um, Des Moines, I think there was uh, close to 5,000 people filling a uh, arena. And uh, yeah. we're going to be doing the same thing this weekend at Hartman Arena, um, uh, you know, um, in Kansas. And it'll be sold out. And uh, that, that's about 7,000 people. So, yes, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, again, it, it, you know, the product's great, but the music is the most important thing. This music is tied to so many memories. And everybody just loves to live nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Do you add anything year to year or is it pretty much a basic set? Uh, oh yeah, we had characters every year. I just added Blackie Lawless to the set, uh, okay. which, which was really really cool. Um, you know, Chris just added uh, Steven Tyler, uh, and, and you know we're adding characters all the time. You know, you want to keep that the, the you know the the big 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 characters. You want to keep those you know rolling and 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 uh, turning over. And you focus primarily on the seventies and eighties, right? Okay. Correct. Correct. That that's the areas that we go within, you know, now, so like your Alice Cooper, your Kiss, mm -hmm. your Van Halen, your Poison, Motley Crue, um, ACDC, you know, is Guns and Roses. So Who was that? If, if there's is there anybody current that you would love to add just some character out there that you think would be a lot of fun? Doesn't necessarily fit with your demo, but just, oh, man, I wish we could add this guy or this. Wouldn't group. Ghost be cool? Ghost would be real cool. Um that would just be a fun character to do. Uh, uh, Ghost, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to think. You know, I mean, Foo Fighters okay. would be great. Okay. Uh, everybody loves the Foo Fighters. Um, well, most people do. And you're coming back. Uh, to, you're coming back to Quincy again too. You guys must really enjoy coming over here. Oh man, uh, you know, great rock and roll fans. Very intelligent rock and roll fans. Uh, hardcore rock and roll fans. They believe in the gospel and the church of rock and roll. So anybody that does that, I'm a fan of. All right, we'll see you on the 25th. Can't wait. Muddy River News. Our home. Our news.